So it is three in the morning and I am currently at the beginning of a noble quest all the way to sunny America. Now, as any good hobbit will tell you, the only thing better than a quest is food. And also, and most importantly, a partner to do the quest with. What's up, brother? What about breakfast? And also a partner to eat food with. Also a partner to eat food with. And supper and dinner. And elevenses. And elevenses. Brother, we are going to Comic Con. Oh my god, I still can't believe it. I just can't believe I will it. believe it when I'm there. That makes two of us. And so it was that our mighty heroes made their way to the con of comic at the Diego of the Sun. Benefits to traveling with KV, but my favorite benefit is this KV Lord of the Rings is written by J.R.R. Tolkien. What does J.R.R. stand for? Oh shit, I don't know. <laughs> we are now on our way to San Diego for San Diego. Um, is my first time ever San Diego Comic Con. First time to California, first it's, time to San it's, Diego. It's, it's big, it's yeah, huge, big. right? It's huge, right? It's huge, right? Yeah, why do we say Comic a lot of more? Is much big. more. Mo is, Mo is driving us to San Diego Comic Con and uh, he's telling us it's What's like up? San Diego's biggest event. That's right. KV, what did we just get? Oh yeah, we got a uh, vaccination. Right yeah. Comic Con 2022. We have our vaccination certificate updated, which means now we are free to con. We are free to Comic Con. Now we are free to go out and about and do whatever we want. So I'm going to go back to the room and go to bed. Yeah, yes. Hello vlog enthusiasts. Um, I left Mumbai Wednesday, 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. It is now 1 a.m. Wednesday night, Thursday morning here, but 1 p.m. in Mumbai. And my brain is not able to brain anymore. And hence, I will be retiring to bed. But it's been a very fulfilling day. Got here to San Diego and got um, our COVID passes. So we're all sorted on that for the weekend. But now I'm gonna go to bed because I have to wake up tomorrow and do my favorite activity ever, ever. Up for the time. No, not even slightly. Okay, so one more? Yeah, oh, nice. nice. We actually had lunch with the entire cast of the Rings of Power and it was awesome because it wasn't like a vlogging lunch or a content making lunch. In fact, everybody was like, let's just put the phones down and just have an awesome lunch and we got to just sit and spend hours and hours chatting with them about the process of making the show and it was a really special and fun afternoon. I have to say, that was a ton of fun because one way or another, in a few months, the show comes out and then it's out there into the world and everybody's going to know these people. But we just sort of got to hang out with them before they sort of hit the absolute big time. And I think that that's really cool. So we just had lunch casually with the entire cast of Rings of Power. Like just literally sitting, hanging at the table with us, like course by course, telling us about the show, telling us about shooting the show. Um, just like... These guys are all gonna basically be bona fide stars soon. Yeah. And we just gotta like casually hang out and have like four course meal with them yeah. and chill. And they were like just chilling and like ha 2019 se New Zealand with chill kar rahe the, matlab, show bana rahe the, fir... What is this life bro? <laughs> what? It's just wild. Just wild. Absolutely wild. Unbelievable. Like, and it was a really fun lunch also. Like I know, like, yeah. I'm not even just saying that, it was just a ton of fun. And now for a word from our sponsors. Kya aap khush hai? Huh? Kya aap ki neend achhi hai? Huh? Kya aap ki zindagi must chal rahi hai? Haan bhai haan. Tir aap ko chahiye jet lag. Eight out of nine doctors agree that jet lag sucks. Very big sucks. The ninth doctor is not here because he is sleeping because he has jet lag. Basically, my larger point is jet lag is number one piece of shit. Yeah. 
All right, so KB and I are here at San Diego Comic Con, and I'm sure all of you are thinking, "Oh my God, that's amazing!" What is that? San Diego Comic Con started off as a comic book convention, so literally Comic Con, comic book convention. But over time, it sort of grew and expanded to move from comic books to just expand pretty much any kind of pop culture. And at some point, well, Hollywood took notice, and beyond a point. um movie company started announcing like their biggest franchises here and hall h became a thing and uh, since then comic con has just become according to some the largest gathering of its kind anywhere in the world the main thing though with comic con is that everybody everybody is just always always in line This place is honestly wild. It's like whatever you believe in, whatever little aspect of pop culture you enjoy, whether it's anime or trading cards or comic books or TV shows or really specific obscure toy, you get the sense that you come here, you'll find somebody that shares that same joy as you, and. That's just amazing. So, in case you're wondering what it is specifically that we're here for, um, well, it's actually right in front of us. Oh, we're here. And then it was time for the Rings of Power trailer. We just watched the trailer, the full trailer for Rings of Power, and okay. First things first, all right. Uh, I don't think Prime has done a show on this scale before, no. ever. All right, like this is definitely not the sort of show you watch on your phone. Like yeah. the first, from the first yeah. frame to the last frame of that trailer, it was just spectacle, spectacle, spectacle. Secondly, there's also like a ton of money shots and references for fans of the franchise. Um, I don't want to spoil anything, but certain big bad guy definitely oh, that makes guy. an appearance. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the the last shot of the trailer is just. Um, yes. Now you're probably wondering, what exactly is? the rings of power to understand that first we have to understand something about a man jrr tolkien all right so jrr tolkien wrote the lord of the rings he wrote the hobbit arguably two of the greatest stories ever written in the history of literature but the thing with tolkien is he wrote these stories but while he is one of the greatest writers in the world uh my man Love to digress, and he was very, very easily distracted. Hey, anyway, so he didn't just write the stories; he also spent ages writing the worlds in which the story was set. And he's like, Lord of the Rings is just a story that happens within a much larger world, within a much larger history, and all of those things. And so he just wrote. words and races and people and lineages and he just kept going it's an original story set in the world that jrr tolkien laid out i hope i'm making sense all right um with that i think that is the end of san diego comic con 2022 for us this has been This is, yeah this is this yeah pinch 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 this is not a thing that i ever thought i would get to do in my life once i've been reading about this since i was a kid um but this has been amazing so thank you prime video uh thank you for the awesome rings thank of power you. presentation that was excellent also and just for this overall experience it has been so uh kevi it's been so awesome having you along man this would have been like really boring like yeah. on my own it's i'm just it's been so much fun just yeah. like geeking out with you and Making oh, jokes, man. Oh, ho, 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 ho. and Jeff fanboying yes. over everything. Over every little thing like that we see, it's just it's been. I'm so exhausted. I'm so jet lagged. Uh, but I have had the best time. Uh, so yeah, that's it from us. Please remember to watch the Rings of Power when it comes out on the second of September. September on Amazon Prime Video. That is correct. We will see you soon. 
and uh, again yeah this has been a lot of fun okay bye